Hey, it's Russell Graves at Hackberry Farm, and I'm standing outside during the middle of the day. And even though this isn't the best light to be taking pictures, this is the perfect time to be practicing for the eclipse. If you want to hear more of my practice tips, stay tuned. So in less than two weeks, a total solar eclipse will pass over Hackberry Farm. We'll be in totality for almost four minutes. We're almost right under the, the line of the totality. We're not too far to the west of it, so we're gonna have a long time to be able to see the sun in its totality. And I'm really excited about that. So before that day comes, however, I wanna make sure I'm prepared. And so I'm gonna provide to you these three practice tips that'll help you get prepared for maybe one of the biggest celestial events that we'll see in our lifetime. My first tip is just to get outside and practice. Come April 8th, we'll be outside getting ready to watch this, this phenomenal celestial event. I'll be excited, you'll be excited, you'll all be excited. And so don't let that excitement get in your way in terms of knowing what to do when the time comes. We've got one shot at this, and so you need to make sure you take advantage of it. So get outside and practice, practice early, practice often, practice as much as you can, and commit every step you're gonna take to muscle memory before the day gets there. Tip number two is to standardize your setup. And what I mean by that is, every time you set up, make sure your tripod no knob's in the same place. Make sure you've got the same camera setup you're gonna be using that day. Make sure your settings are right. Make sure you've got everything set right before you even practice. And if you'll standardize that whole procedure, when the time comes, it'll be like automatic for you. You'll be able to set up, be able to go through the whole settings, be able to get everything set up right, and you won't run the chance of missing the total eclipse. Tip number three, really kind of part of tip number two, and this is standardizing your setup. When you go outside to practice, practice at the time of day when the eclipse will be overhead. And the reason why, if you practice with the sun low on the horizon in the morning or in the evening, the sun's really moving at a different angle than it will be during the day. At that time of the day, the sun will be more flat moving across the horizon from east to west. And so you want to get used to that. And keep in mind, the sun moves really, really fast through the sky. I don't know exactly how, how fast, thousands of miles an hour. You can probably tell me in the comments below how fast it moves but because it moves so fast just in a few minutes it'll be off your frame and so usually what I've been doing on my practice setup is I'll get my elevation right I'll get the sun pointed right at it and because the sun's moving not perfectly horizontal through the sky but almost horizontal through the sky at that point all I have to do is loosen my tripod head and then move the tripod over just a little bit to track it through the sky and then that brings up another point within point three take plenty of pictures of the sun understand how your camera is going to react with the filter on it understand if you've got to use exposure compensation or what your optimum ISO setting is or all of those little things that you got to do to take a good picture get it worked out now because when the day comes that's the the, the first thing you want to do is be able to just set the camera up take pictures the last thing you want to do is be messing with a bunch of uh, settings and then really as a bonus tip it goes back to tip one practice practice often get outside practice it every day every day you can see the sun get out and practice your setup because when the day comes and the eclipse starts to happen, you'll be glad you did. Hey, join me back every week where you'll have a brand new video full of photo tips. And if you want a checklist that'll help you get ready for that big day, go to hackberryfarmtexas.com. When the pop-up appears on the opening screen, put in your email address, you'll get a free nature photography checklist that'll help you not only with the eclipse, but also with any other kind of shoot you go out to do in nature.